Hello, everybody. When Yellowstone creator Taylor Sheridan announced that the show will have sequel series that will complement and expand the Yellowstone universe, we were more than happy. Yellowstone is taking place in the biggest ranch in Montana and is centered around the Duttons who are the owners of this ranch. The series is filled with complicated characters, creative scenarios, and amazing cinematography. Even though all of these components make the show the masterpiece that it is, we believe its characters are the ones that make Yellowstone very unique. These characters are often praised for their complicated personalities as their distinct motives and unforeseeable choices make them human to their core. However, they are also pretty difficult to understand and even relate to at times. Why? Well, because they are having a lot of bold turns in life that many of us wouldn't take no matter what. Therefore, we often find ourselves questioning why the Duttons are like this and what kind of family legacy that they carry. This is why the announcement of 1883 was the thing that we needed the most as the Yellowstone fans, as it heralded the beginning of a major family saga. 1883 is focusing on the early Duttons in the 19th century, taking the story even before the family has moved to Montana. Naturally, the show has a completely different setting than Yellowstone. And yet, it also has a lot of similar qualities, especially as far as the quality of the characters is concerned. All the Duttons in 1883 are very similar to the ones in Yellowstone, proving that these individuals are related and even if there is a 200-year gap between them, they still share some basic qualities. Besides, the series is one of those plots that sit us on the edge of our seat for 10 episodes straight. Since it combines all these blessed features perfectly, now we cannot help but demand the new season of the show as soon as possible. The first season of 1883 got wrapped up last month with a shocking ending. It impressed us all by taking one of the boldest choices that a show can take, killing a protagonist. To be fair, 1883 has multiple protagonists. We can easily claim that all Duttons are protagonists of the series, as well as prominent characters such as Shay and even Thomas. Still, Elsa was a very distinct one even among the protagonists as she was the narrator of the show and was the one that has gone through the most character development. In the beginning, Elsa was just another ordinary girl with an ordinary life. However, her ambitions were larger than her surroundings and her curiosity was gripping her soul. Naturally, when she found herself on an adventurous journey from Tennessee to the northern U.S., she turned this into an advantage for herself by trying to get to know herself, her desires, and her ambitions. First of all, she started to hang out with the men of the group by taking a part in the cattle drive. Then she changed her clothing from the dresses to the pants as she wanted to feel more comfortable than she ever was. The biggest shift in her life, however, took place when they fell in love with the cute cowboy, Innies. The two's love was somewhat of a slow burn. Even though it was very obvious that Innies was fancying Elsa from the very beginning, it took time for Elsa to realize that this man cares for her and wants to be with her. Once she realized that she left all her other concerns behind and decided to be with him no matter what, this has become the turning point in Elsa's life. When he's got killed off, she couldn't believe her doomed luck. Her pain almost consumed her as she found it difficult to even get up in the morning. Suddenly, she discovered her inner demons and desire for violence. Thankfully, her family was there to support her and her adventure was still ongoing. In the next step of her journey, she met Sam, a Native American man who managed to impress Elsa at the first glance. The two fell in love over the heels in seconds as their eyes spoke for themselves. Sam also lost his wife before, so he shared similar feelings with Elsa and her suffering. They supported each other and quickly decided that they need to spend their life together. They got married despite Elsa's family's objections. And yet, Elsa expressed that she feels obliged to travel with her family to the north, but once she makes sure they are settled, she will return for Sam. Unfortunately, her plans have failed when their crew got attacked because of a misunderstanding. The Native American tribes on the way mistaken the crew for another one that was responsible for a massacre of a Native American camp. Therefore, when they were attacking, they didn't care whether they were women or children. Instead, they massacred them all and injured Elsa deadly. Elsa managed to reach back with her family, but it soon became obvious that she will not be able to survive such an attack. Thus, in the end, we witnessed Elsa losing her life in the mountains of Montana as her family made sure that they will be there with her at all times by settling on the same ground. All these lead us to the second season of 1883. In normal circumstances, we expect the second season of the show to be released around September 2022 with a trailer hitting the internet around August 2022. However, it seems like Taylor Sheridan has other plans for the show's future. He plans to release another series named 1932 as a follow-up to 1883, this time centering around John Dutton Sr. Technically, the show can be regarded as the second season of 1883, but it'll not be something that we're used to seeing. What do you think about 1883? 
Do you think the show needs to continue as it is, or are you excited to welcome 1932? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.